Hi, I'm Nate Cochran. I'm the offensive coordinator at Blackburn College at Carlinville, Illinois. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the spread option offense. Um, spread option offense, the reason we started running it, um, because of the fact that it limits the size of the players that we need at Blackburn to, to run it. Um, with the spread option offense, you don't have to block two of the defense's best players at a lot of times in, in this offense. Um, the offense helps us to keep the practices simple and game planning simple and the fact that the defense has to be responsible for both the run and the pass. So in this, in this, uh, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, our base formations, uh, reading the defense, our run game, and our passing game. I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to start out talking about our base formations in the spread option offense. To start out, we're going to talk about our ace formation. I'm going to draw it up for you. This is what we call our ace formation. Um, in ace formation, we label our receivers. Uh, we label each receiver differently. Um, we usually label them left to right so we can figure out who's what. Um, when we call ace right or ace left, we got certain receivers that go both sides. Um, so we'll start by labeling this left receiver. This will be X. Okay, this is how we label it. This inside wing back is what we call W. This wing back over here is what we call Y, and this Y receiver is what we call Z. And then we label our, our tailback or fullback. Some people call him a fullback. We label him a running back because he's really not a fullback in the traditional option sense. Uh, we, we usually look for a more versatile kid, somebody that's a tailback that we can put in a three-point stance, and he's a decent inside runner, and he's got a good, a good amount of speed. Um, our... X and y, Z receivers are spread out very wide. This is, helps to spread the defense. Um, we line them up on the, about three yards from the numbers. So if this is the numbers, we're about three yards from the numbers. Okay, and then W and Y are aligned th uh, three feet by one foot. So that's our basic alignment here. Our R back is aligned at five yards. His heels are at five yards from the quarterback. Okay, so basically our ace formation, it's a spread formation. It gives us four quick receivers at the line of scrimmage, but it also gives us three running backs so we can run our triple options. Okay, um, our second formation that we run is what we call trips. Um, in trips, what we do is we just move the wing backs over. We move our wing, our W wing back to the inside, and we tell our Y wing back to split the difference between the W and the Z. Okay, he doesn't have a basic alignment. If we lined up on the hash, if we happen to be on the left hash, then we would want our Y to be on the right hash. Generally, that would be the proper spacing for them, but. His general rule is to line up and split the difference between the W and the Z receivers. Okay, And then our last formation, we actually do run a formation with a tight end. This year we didn't run it a lot because we didn't have enough tight ends. But uh, our tight end formation is what we call Ricky and Larry. It was just easier to distinguish that way. Um, 